So when you think of the concept of let go and lead, what, what, does, it, <laughs> what does it really mean to you? <laughs> well, for me, it's very difficult, the word let go of anything, I have to be honest. And the analogy that really resonated with me a long time, I think when I was in high school, it's an old story that if you put your hand in a jar and it's like this, in a fist, you can't pull your hand out. You have to relax your hand and then you, get, you let the let go. So I understand that you can't achieve the things you want for your life or, or whatever you're leading by yourself. You can't do every single thing. You have to have a team. You have to trust them. But at the same time, you can't indulge yourself and let go of everything. So the challenge is to figure out yeah. the parts that you should let go, the part that you should really care about, and uh, how, how to define the tension. And it may change uh, from time to time. Mm -hmm. So you may be very interested in, let's just say, use an example of, a speech going well, and you care very deeply where the microphone is or where the chair, and somebody else may say, well, that doesn't matter. And maybe it doesn't, but what you're communicating is, if it's worth doing well, it does matter, and I'm not gonna let go of this minutia. Mm -hmm. On another end, though, you can be so bogged down that you never get to your mission. So I think it's not something you arrive at and figure out forever. It's something you work out all the time. And I know when I get in trouble, it's because mostly I haven't let go, that I'm focusing on something that isn't worthy, except when I am. <laughs> so for me, it's the, one of the biggest challenges I have because I care deeply about so many things that uh, it can get in the way. <laughs>